and get your kiss on. What's my case it is? I'm currently in line to hop on a flight. We're going through some military grade process. So I've been living with my family in Coronado, San Diego. I've been wanting to go back to Japan, but Corona and everything. But my dad actually got military orders to go to Yokosuka, which is like Yokohama, like an hour, two hours south of Tokyo. Yeah, it's very fortunate for me. I get to go back round three, baby. Okay. Hey, taste it. What? Taste it. No, no, no. Bro. Do you know English? Got it. I uh, try it. Tell me. Mm. <laughs> 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 Alright, how is it, eh? It's perfect. Alright, so we flew from San Diego to Seattle yesterday, and then we stayed at a hotel till two in the morning and now we're about to fly to Japan. But I hope you're doing well my quesadillas. Everybody can speak in Korean? No! Japanese! Okay! So everyone on this plane is military. So we got soldiers, we got sailors. This is probably the safest plane I've ever been on. I would complete an incident report and submit it to the passenger terminal. We landed on a military base. We didn't even land in Narita or Haneda. We landed in Yokota Air Base, a little bit west of Tokyo, I believe. But yeah, I'm taking all this shit right here. We all just like got off the plane, walked across, you know, the runway thing. We went to this like military, th this big military room. It looked like a seminar. We got like lectured for a bit regarding COVID and everything. And we're gonna quarantine for two weeks. But yeah, now we're taking a bus to Yokosuka. <laughs> it's weird to see Japanese people again. I didn't realize how much I missed them. They're so nice and like polite and stuff. They're just good folks. We are in Yokosuka now. This is where I went to high school. I went to Kinnick here. I think I have some friends that live here. I don't know. They probably moved by now. Just made it to the Navy Lodge. I've been out for like 21 hours straight now, I think. My glasses broke on the way. My dad dropped the suitcase right here. I cut my hair like three days ago. I don't know how it looks. Yeah, hopefully my hairline's not too bad. I remember like three years ago I talked about this. I'm just getting ready, kind of seeing what I look like in my homecoming outfit. I think I look pretty saucy, let me know. But like, as I was doing my hair and stuff, I always put it down. And when I was putting my hair up, I realized something. I think I have a receding hairline. My quesadillas, this is a problem. Receding hairlines are like the go-to diss if you're roasting a guy in 2017. And the fact that I'm a YouTuber with an audience of mostly females, which, let's not lie here, wouldn't subscribe to me if I looked like Steve Buscemi. Now I'm actually gonna have to be talented to be successful. I thought I could take the easy way out, the Kim K route. This is not good, folks. And yeah, three years later, the hair is still hanging in there. Let's go! It's definitely receded a bit more, but hey, you know what? We grow up, we age, we mature. That's what happens in life. What? Oh yeah, thank you, Charlie, for reminding me. It's my birthday in three days. So, I'm gonna be 21. I'm gonna be an adult. It's crazy. It's stupendous. It's exhilarating. It's ex- It's outrageous. Whoops. 
Ran out of space on the memory card. But yeah, it's my birthday in 21 days. No, I'm turning 21 in three days. Uh, November 21st, 1999. Scorpio baby. I've been getting into astrology lately, I can't even lie. Like two months ago, I would think you should put yourself in a box like that, you know? You shouldn't be like, oh, I'm, I'm this and then this is what I am and that's all you are. But then I learned that there's a lot more to astrology than just that like just that one sign or the sun sign that's what it is there's like nine other things that that you are that kind of like layer on top of that when i like read my whole thing i was like wait a minute this matches up this video did not mean to turn into an astrology video it's just something i've been studying a little more recently because i mean i'm not i don't go to college i gotta i gotta read and write a little bit hey but speaking of college uh i'm gonna start going to college i'm just gonna do online classes i used to think no call it like let's not go to college because i just gotta grind on youtube but look what i've been doing anyway my parents always told me i'm the type of person that does better when i'm busier like when i would just have ideas just coming in and creativity just flowing it's when i would be like just like bored in school i would have to like kind of go through that struggle and then youtube everything else was like the fun part but when the youtube is occupying all of the school space or like the workspace it becomes i don't know it just i mean obviously it doesn't seem to be working out so well for me so yeah fuck it i'm, I'm going to college i think i want to study like japanese just to get like super super good at it like super technical with it and then uh yeah i was thinking of doing that i was i was thinking of studying a lot of things honestly i was thinking of studying psychology anatomy physics astronomy and then i just thought about it earlier history i that, that'd be pretty cool too even english is an idea you know just to like start getting better at English so I can get better at writing, so I can get better at writing everything. I I, I want it to, I want, like my, 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 my mom, my baby, my passion is YouTube. So I want whatever I do to help me be a better YouTuber. Yeah, I don't know, like I was thinking like maybe like psychology or something because, okay, it's kind of, I guess it sounds kind of bad, but like I was thinking psychology because you learn about the brain and you learn how the human psyche works, you can basically learn how to manipulate people, get people to like you, attract an audience, you know, self-image, things like that. So I was like thinking psychology, but now that I told you guys, you guys know if I take psychology, you guys are gonna be. I just talked for like 20 minutes. I got all deep and sentimental. It was very real. It was so real. And it didn't even capture it. Now it's gonna be fake, cause I need to replicate that. So it's gonna be fake now. Where did the last clip end? Uh, oh yeah, so I probably shouldn't take psychology now cause you guys will be sus about that. But if I did take psychology and I were to be using the wonders of the brain to my advantage, manipulating everyone, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be doing it in a bad way. I would just be doing it in the sense that, hey, like this is my business, this is my brand, I'm just trying to grow, this is my dream. I'm a motherfucking YouTuber, baby! It's all love. I'll manipulate you, but I'll tell you, I'm manipulating you. Matthew McConaughey came out with a new book recently and it said like, the difference between a bullshitter and a liar is that the bullshitter lets you know he's bullshitting and the liar lies. I'm a bullshitter, all right? I'll let you guys know I'm bullshit. Man, that last clip was too good and I just, I forgot how it flowed. How did it go? I was like talking about psychology and then I started talking about like something about being real. Man, I actually talked about it a lot. Oh, I remember. Cause like I'm not going to college with another goal in mind. The only thing I've ever wanted to do was YouTube. Just show business in general, entertainment. I've always had Hollywood in the back of my mind. One of the main things on my bucket list is to be a superhero in a Marvel movie, possibly Tony Stark. And there's not much people that Asians could be. But I don't, I feel like I could play a white guy. I'm half, you know, I could play both. Man, it's weird to be Asian, Asian white. Because you either choose the Asian guy or you choose the white guy. So when you're like Asian, Caucasian, it's like, it's like 
there's no place for you. When I'm in Japan, I'm the American. When I'm in America, I'm the Japanese guy. I never belong. But it's cool though, I like it. But yeah, I just wanna choose something in college that will help me with YouTube. I even thought about like, like I, I, was, I was thinking of all kinds of things like psychology, anatomy, astronomy, theology. I just looked up the list of ologies on Wikipedia and just like found my favorite ones. Oh, paleontology. I like dinosaurs. I've always liked dinosaurs. I even thought engineering the other day just to think I'm smart. No, I was thinking like history or like English would be good because you know writing I can I can learn how to like present myself better learn how to speak English better learn how to like you know like speak like good English words like due diligence I want to do my due diligence and make good content for you guys so I want to choose a major that is helpful for what I want to do which is Get lit with my case of these, you know. <laughs> oh my god, memory card keeps getting full. It's getting dark too. It's just this is annoying. Okay, I don't even know where I left off. This is annoying. But yeah, I just want to say thank you to the couple thousand people that have been watching my videos and still keeping up even when I'm at my lowest. I don't know if it looks like my lowest to you guys, but for me, like the past the past several months has been my lowest. In terms of what I think of myself and my confidence, it's been the lowest. Yeah, I've never experienced what I've experienced the past couple months before it's a new feeling but it's helping me grow a lot i'm gonna talk about this feeling in another video and it'll kind of explain just everything kind of like why i've been inactive and just like why i've been so weird lately it's confusing what's going on in my brain like i'm just smart enough to kind of like know what's going on and and i i, I get it i know i had i kind of I... that you um you had you 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 could you do I don't yeah I know what happened to me but I'm not smart enough to express it to you guys it'll be in a future video and when you guys see the title of the video I'm pretty sure you'll you'll know you'll remember this moment right here and you'll be like oh hey here it is click so yeah I just want to say thank you for those couple thousand quesadillas that are still supporting me even though i don't deserve anything i'm so grateful like a couple months ago i would think oh my views are low compared to before no one cares about me now yeah and i, I would i would genuinely feel that i would just because views are lower i would feel less worthy and i'm sure that's a problem a lot of youtubers have but then I kind of flipped the script in my brain and I was like, wait a minute. Even though I'm making shitty videos, videos that I wouldn't even watch twice, I know I'm not putting my full potential in, a, in it and I've been so inactive and this is my lowest. Even at this point, I still have like 5,000 people, like almost like 100 comments per video. It's pretty heartwarming when I think of it that way. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta remember where I came from. So I'm just a normal person, just like you guys. I'm nothing different. So yeah, thank you for the people who have been here, even though my soul hasn't even been here. I like that. My soul hasn't really been in the, in the past couple videos. My mind has, but not my soul. So, I'm bringing it back. Alright, I'm trying to. I love you guys. I don't know if I love you guys. Oh, shit. I mean, love is a strong word, but like, I deeply appreciate you guys. I only love my bed and my mama. I'm sorry. Nah, I'm just kidding. I love you guys. I don't even know what it is about me that, that makes you guys keep watching. But yeah, I'm gonna just keep on keeping on. You guys do too. I'm gonna be in quarantine for the next two weeks so plenty of time to you know be editing and stuff this, this man i don't even want to like make promises anymore i was about to say like oh i'm gonna get back on the ground blah 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 but like i feel like that would just jinx it so i'm not gonna say that i'm actually gonna be very inactive i'm, I'm not gonna make videos in fact i quit make sure to not like and not subscribe and not click the little ding dong to know when i upload and I don't like Dave and Busters. Shall we?